Hello, this is Andrew from Scene Labs, and in this tutorial we're going to look at adding a table view to a watch kit app for the Apple Watch. So we've got our project here with the watch kit extension already added in. So on the interface, we're just going to add a table, like so, drag it in there. And once that's added in, up here, the attributes inspector we need to select the table table row controller and we need to set the identifier to cell now that this is done we're going to connect it to our view control so go to the assistant editor and you should see the interface controller load up making sure that this table is selected holding the control key and drag it in there we're going to name it table view as an outlet and the type will be wk interface table we'll connect that up and now we're going to set up the table row so to do that just close that down and under the watch kit extension folder make sure that's selected and go file new file hoka touch class i'm going to make a class that's a subclass of ns object it's called table row object and what this class is going to do it's going to control any items in each table row such as labels with text in or images let's go next and go create. Go back to the interface and select the cell on the left hand side where we set the identifier to that. And then we need to change that custom class to be the one we just made, which is table row object. Now, when you're designing each row in a table, you can add labels, images, and so on to it. In the watch kit, each table can only be one column wide. It can't be multiple columns. So if you want to add in several items next to each other, you can use a little trick using groups. So you can add a group of text. So you could add a text on the left side and an image on the right side, which would be all contained in the one group. In this example, we're just going to add a label to our table. So drag that onto there. I'm just going to resize the label. And we're going to change the alignment to be in the middle. Now that that's done, go back to the assistant editor. And this time, interface control will probably be selected, but what we want to be selected is a table row object. So just go into here, go automatic, and select table row object. If you don't see it in here, you might have to select it from the manual menu. Now that we've done that, we need to connect our label back up using the control key again. Inside our class, I'm going to name it label item. And when that's first connected up, you'll see it comes up with an error. The reason for this is this WK interface label is a custom watch kit class object. So to be able to use it in this class with the code in, we need to import the watch kit object. So up the top, go import watch kit. Now that that's fixed up, we're gonna to go to our interface controller and close down the split view for the assistant editor. And we're going to add in our code to load the table. So the data we're going to use, we're just going to make an array of items. So there items equals we comma love for the second item WK and semen. So we're going to make it so each of these items in the array will display on a new row in the table. So to do that, if you've done iPhone table use before, it's a bit different. 
we're going to add in a new method. We're going to go func load table data. And we're going to add the code in here in this method to load the table data. And then we'll call it when a watch kit view loads up. So first of all, we're going to create a new variable i equals zero. And this is going to track the current row we're on. And then we're going to go for item in items. And this will run a for loop for each item. It will store it in a variable item. We'll go let row equals table view dot row controller at index, the index of i as exclamation mark table row object so now that we've set our row up you remember we created the label item so that's in the table row object so we'll be able to see this by going row dot label item dot set text and in the text we're going to use item and on each loop of this it will get a new item from items so this will set the text to we love wk and semu one up to the other and then we go i plus plus and this will add one to the i variable so it'll increment it by one to go from zero to one etc that way this row selects a new row every time up here so now to load it in the awake with context we're going to go load table data to call that method okay and just before we run it there's also one more thing we need to set up in the load table data and that's setting up the cell so to do that we need to go table view dot set number of rows number of rows will be items dot count so that will count the number of items in here which is four and the with row type is our cell identifier, so that's going to be cell. So we'll close that off and selecting the watch kit app now, we'll run that and see our table you load up. Okay, so we can see our table views loaded up, so you can download the source code for this project below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below. Also get 20% off our complete Apple Watch Kit course by enrolling with the link in the description. Be sure to check out our website, Facebook and Twitter.